Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Ruth Croft after her second place finish at the 2015 Terraware Ultramarathon. Nice work out there, Ruth. Yeah, thanks. That was uh, your longest run ever? Yeah, so before that, the furthest I'd race was, yeah, 60k. 60. So, yeah. A big step up. That is a big step up, yeah. Definitely. Um, you have a, a long history with running. You, uh, yeah. in your youth, you, uh... Yeah, I was started running when I was like 14 and representing New Zealand and um, mountain running and track and cross country. And then went over to the States on a running scholarship for four years. And then after that, I was like, oh, I kind of burnt out by running and decided I wasn't going to run again. And so I moved to Taiwan. And after two months of not competing, um, I kind of just missed it and started back up. Yeah. So not exactly a long break. No, no, no. <laughs> well, I feel like most runners, it's pretty ingrained into you at that point and it becomes part of your lifestyle. So it's hard to just give that up one day. Yeah. yeah. So. When you were running mountain running and track and cross country, was there anything that you particularly enjoyed and excelled at? Um, I always preferred the mountain running and cross country. Kind of have a, yeah, I really don't like track. It's yeah. It's pretty hard to get me on the track, actually. Yeah. So you're not doing that much these days? Um, I actually do do a track workout once a week. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm kind of trying to learn to embrace the track a bit more. Yeah. So when did you, after, what did you run in university or where and when? Uh, ran in, at the University of Portland in Oregon mm -hmm. and I uh, ran the 5k, yeah, pretty much that was it, yeah, in cross country. In cross country? Yeah, yeah. And when did you, you did you step up in distance right from when you got to Hong, or Taiwan? Um, so, yeah, Taiwan running has really become really popular and so the first six months I had real trouble uh, registering for races. Really? Yeah, 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 you have to be like on your computer and it was in Chinese and I didn't know it so I'd always put it off be like, oh, I'll sign up tomorrow and by the time I got round to it, it was always full. Um, so my first ultra was the North Face 50 and the only reason I did it was because I again was pretty disorganized and the 15k was already full up so I was like, oh, I'll do the 50. Yeah, and so it's just been a progression from there. So that was a pretty big jump up in your race experience, yes? Yeah, and I hadn't actually, I wasn't that prepared for that either, so yeah. What was your longest race? prior to? I had done a marathon actually, I did my first marathon, so yeah. So marathon 50, yep. 50k, and that's all within like the last two years or so? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, yeah. And what made you decide, I'm going to try 100k? Um, I hadn't been home for three years, and so my folks were kind of like, oh, you need to get back home for a visit, and so why not line it up for a race? And so, um, yeah, Tower has got a name for itself, so we'll give it a go. You give it a go, and yeah. you sure did. Uh, yeah, it was tough. <laughs> you had quite the race out there. Yeah, well, it was a bit going into the unknown because, as I said, the furthest I'd race was 60k. And I think after that, there's a, you've got to take into a lot of consideration like your food and your, like, your hydration, nutrition. And I just didn't know how my body was going to react. It's like 50k, you can kind of get through with gels and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it was just, yeah, going into the unknown. Yeah. Did that aspect go pretty well for you? It did actually, yeah, surprisingly well. Um, yeah, I got the food in. I'd, People have stressed me like how important it was to right at the beginning to get on top of your your food and your hydration. It was just I kind of dropped the ball I think around the seventy k mark with that, but which I think yeah that last ten k yeah it was the longest ten k ever. Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, part of that you were in quite a quite a race with uh, Ruby out there. Yeah, yeah. So I saw the back of her a few times and yeah, and then uh, it was the last I think the eight we got through the last checkpoint and she was 20 seconds ahead of me and then we went eye on eye and yeah just I was, I was done though. Yeah. When did you uh, get sort of within sight of her? Um, so I think yeah it's, I think it was uh, I think it was the last 10k yeah I, that's when I saw her. But you must have yeah. known. I'd been told that she was um, like three, five minutes ahead and then we down to three minutes I think and yeah. And so that must have been an interesting combination of not only being the furthest you'd ever run. Yeah, but then having and, to really race it, yeah. But no, it was a good experience, yeah. And, and did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it, yeah, because people have been asking me, oh, what's your, what's your plan for the rest of the year? And I was like, I always get through this 100k, I might not ever want to run 100k again. But uh, yeah, I did enjoy it, yeah, yeah. And so do you have other race plans for this year lined up or um, think of anything? Yeah, maybe CCC. I'm not sure. Really? Yeah, I don't know. It's all yeah, pretty open at this stage. And when you're uh, in Taiwan, do you do you live in a city or do you have a chance to get uh, and run the trails very often? Yeah, I live in Taipei, and so the trails are pretty accessible. Most people wouldn't think so for being such a big city. But yeah, I get on the trails like two or three times a week. Yeah. 
And uh, in, in general, what, what does your training look like in a given week? How many Ks overall? What's the um, structure? Well, it stepped up a lot. So for this race, it was ranging between probably about 160. The most I got to was 190. But for me, the main main point was just time on my feet because mm -hmm. I haven't, yeah, as I said, had raced that far. So yeah. Did you get a bunch of long, really long runs in? in um, actually, my longest training run was 57 k. Yeah, but it had two two five elevations. So. Pretty much the entire elevation of yeah, yeah. Tarawera. Well, as most of the races in Asia would have. Tarawera's elevation over 50k, so yeah, it's quite a fast course here. Yeah. Uh, did you did you have any difficulty with that much actual running? Um, because I quite like the flat as well. Ah. Yeah, I do. But yeah, I think just coming from Asia, where you get used to having times where you have to walk for quite an extended period of time, that coming here, I knew it was a fast course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was there any particular moment or? Anything from yesterday that uh, you enjoyed the most? I enjoyed up to the six, I think it's the 60k mark. I thought going right around the legs, it's really beautiful and it's like undulating, so you get like a really good rhythm going mm -hmm. on. Yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations, Ruth, awesome. on your Thank great you. run and uh, hope to see you out on the trails again soon. Yeah, for sure.